joined by the HR manager of the Standard Group, Joy Kaguri. Welcome to Double O Direct. Uh, thank you so much, Oliver. You know, for having me, it and I love this show. <laughs> I see a race. Huh? <laughs> I smell a race coming and I like it. Huh? This new season, as we head into Q4, I'm seeing a race. Jesus, I thank you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but all, honestly, in, in all honesty, like HR is such an important function. Yes. In not just onboarding people, yes. but in ensuring, you know, productivity, in ensuring that competence, you know, in ensuring that there's a positive work environment. Absolutely. Um, how long have you been with the Standard Group? Um, thank you so much, Oliver. I've been here for six years and I love it. I'm loving it. So this is not <laughs> your first election season as uh, part of the HR team team at the standard group yes um i was here in 2017 yes and i'm i'm, I'm lucky to be in the second a uh, second time again to yes. be here during the elections and it's good it's all good one of the reasons i had to have you here is yes. because over the last few weeks over the last few months actually yes. i've noticed a series of emails yes from hr yes. about election awareness yes. safety yes. well-being yes and I just wanted to talk to you about that and um, the thinking behind it. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, uh, Oliver. That's a very good question. Uh, what, one of the things I can say as Standard Group, you're very, very keen ensuring that uh, the safety and security of your staff is paramount. Yes. So we do everything within our power to ensure that we have given the information, we have empowered them so they can be aware, they can be prepared and they can be able to react should a situation happen. We've been very peaceful. It's been very peaceful. The election campaign has been peaceful. and uh, But of course, it's always good for the staff to have the information and they can know how to go about it should anything happen in in the event of an unlikely uh, situation or unforeseen um, incidents, yes. What would you say the HR department is doing um, to educate, yeah. to inform yeah. members of staff, yeah. both those on permanent contract, yeah. consultants, you know, third parties that are interacting with the standard group to better prepare for themselves for any contingencies or change in operations during this time? Yeah, that's a good one. Actually, we started all the way um, in January. Yes. Uh, we started by first uh, training our uh, bureaus uh, because we also have reporters there and also a lot is going on there. So we had a team uh, which is made up of the HR department, our security team, our OSH team, and we also partnered with the counterterrorism unit and they were able to train our staff in all the bureaus and our satellite offices. That's about uh, eight offices. And then of course, now we came to the main office. We have been training our staff. Um, we have been doing it department by department and also and we did another bigger one for our mainstream, in sh uh, our mainstream, um, uh, let me say business that in this case being the reporters and the, uh, and after that now what we did is we in, we formed champions from every department and we've been having weekly meetings just to get updates of the situation and the status and then just to be able to also ensure that our teams everybody is responsible for one another and the teams are department wise selected and they are able to to uh, monitor and ensure that everybody is on board and everybody is safe wherever they are so we have a whatsapp group where we communicate we have our weekly meetings which is on zoom because of the bureaus so we can be able to just have updates every week and also we've sent out a google form i don't know if it's really, you, you got it yes uh, yes whereby we can be able to get captured information the latest information in this case we information of um of uh, the next of kings two of them last time we had one but said to back it up just in case we don't get the next of king and uh, maybe our staff phone is off or our interns the legal contractor anybody works for us this uh, the, uh, the safety is paramount we're able to call and contact and also this time you also up to the, the the form and ensure that you have to indicate where you live and name at least one staff who knows where you live so in case of anything we can be able to reach you very fast so and also we've been um having weekly tips and actually now you've been able to do like a weekly tips in terms of the security tips and safety tips so that you can be able to be informed and use this as a and uh, it helps you to be more cautious and how to deal with the situation and then also we have formed a crisis management team and the crisis management team is now where we go to escalate should now the current champions which is made up of the departmental HR security and OSH uh, they need to escalate it and then also of course we've also been having um 
we've been having uh, um, I'm trying to I've had discussions with medical department uh, medical insurance and they have uh, given us um, they have done a plan for us in terms of election in terms of ambulance in terms of air evacuation in terms of being reached uh, on the on the phone so which you're sharing with staff and then we have another five uh, numbers uh, of their senior uh, head of medical team so that we can be able to reach them as HR should we not be able to go through the, 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 the lines which they've given us. So there are so many things we are doing around it. Yes. Also in terms of planning. A second, um, a second. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Spice. I'm with the Standard Group's HR manager, Joy Kaguri, who asked me, do I get nervous? <laughs> <laughs> I blame my confidence on two. One, my mother, and two, Jesus. So yeah, we are discussing election preparedness and how you can keep yourself safe during this politically charged season. So Joy, you mentioned a couple of points and uh, measures that the Standard Group is is uh, conducting in order to keep all the employees safe. But for the general public and the public at large, I feel that the information that has been disseminated through a series of emails is actually very, very powerful. Can you elaborate on that? Um, uh, yes. Uh, the, what you've been sending out in terms of the emails are just, let me call them sensitization, mm. safety tips. And they're basically to just inform or just remind us of how we can keep ourselves safe and also how we can ensure that we do not become a target because of something you're doing so innocently but has been portrayed um, outside there differently. Yes, for example? For example, uh, one of the tips that we have sent out is that do not wear t-shirts with colors that could be maybe reflecting um, colors of a particular party. Uh, that's a very interesting point because um, these t-shirts, not maybe it's one you bought yourself, maybe it's True. one that was given to you during a rally. True. Why should you not wear it? Unfortunately, uh, the past um, elections yes. have taught us or we have learned something from them that it can was, work against you, especially if you go to what has been primar primarily thought to be a zone of an opposition yes. against um, the, the, the color that you're wearing. So it can you can innocently just be walking wearing it and you're happy, you're peaceful and you're, you're just doing your thing. Then unfortunately, from the, the uh, somebody can come from the mob and say, why are you wearing this in this zone, which is for the other party? And it hits you, okay, by the way, but maybe it can be a little bit too late yes. before you be not be given an opportunity to explain yourself and you can get yourself in a very awkward and a very uncomfortable situation. What are some of the other measures you feel the public need to be um, cognizant of? Okay, I could I can give the tips as yes. a part, the tips you're given our employees. One of them is do not argue on politic issues in public. You never know who's there yes. and how it might affect them. And it might make somebody from another party, yes. very annoyed with the points that you're putting across, yes. and then it can turn against you. Does this uh, include uh, social situations where, you know, you've gone out to eat or you've gone out to mingle with friends or even, you know, with regards to colleagues as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. The, um, as I said in the beginning, you have to be cautious of the business um, on the environment that you are in. So one of the things is do not assume that because I'm with my friends, I'm in a social environment where everybody is maybe doing their thing or I'm uh, also with families and friends that it cannot turn against me. Yes. So just be cautious, always told scan the environment mm -hmm. and then you can be able to know, I think for now, I need to keep my political ideas to myself because we are um, with people with from different um, with different different political affiliations. Mm -hmm. So I just need to respect also their thoughts around their political uh, thoughts. So we've had two tips so far. Um, the first tip being be conscious of what colors you're wearing. Yes. So your attire. Yeah. Number two, do not argue politics in public. Yeah. Third point. Uh, the third point is we are encouraging our staff to go home early if you can. Don't stay out 
late. Mm -hmm. Don't stay out too late. Um, because sometimes some of these things happen in the night. During the day, it's safer. In terms also of reaching out, it's safer. And then also you'll be among many people when you it's during the day. At night, you might be alone. And we're also encouraging our staff, do not be alone at night. Try to at least to be with someone. So that helps in terms of um, ensuring that your safety um, is paramount by trying to get home early. If, unless really beyond your control, you have to be out, but don't make it a habit to be staying out very uh, late at night unless it's beyond, like we have shift arrangements here, but also we are providing transport to ensure that our staff get home safe. So if you're going to overindulge a little bit, because it's normal, it's a weekend, just try to be cautious that you don't have to stay until 1 or 2 a.m. Try and get home early. It's safer when you get home early and you're safer more often than not within your, uh, maybe your uh, being in your house than being out there. Spice. Thank you, Nyeri. I'm Olivia Otena. This is Double O Direct, a safe space for all women by legends. Yes, music by legends. Mariah Carey just heard one. Aretha, we're going to be heading to Mariah. And then the emotions are on the way. But preparing employees could be the key to relatively little disruption in business operations during this election period. And with me to discuss the strategies that employees in particular should seek to adapt. Yeah, is Joy Kaguri, HR manager, Standard Group PLC. I know a lot of people wanted to know the procedure to be hired at Standard in a Kwanganini. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. How do you get a job here at the Standard Group? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, one of the things is that we have a very, um, a very elaborate recruitment policy. That's and, why we are the best. Uh, absolutely. And uh, what we do is we advertise our jobs through Diga Jobs, which is a standard group platform. And also we use other source, other um, recruitment uh, platforms. And then, of course, we go through competency-based interviews. www.standardmedia.co.ke forward slash jobs. D yes, Diga Jobs. Fantastic. Yes, yes. And you'll be able to get an array of our jobs which have been listed there. Look at your skill set. Look at your qualifications. Look at your experience. Look at the skills that you have and your competencies. You're happy. Please apply. When you apply, the professional sweet team for you here who will go through your CVs. And if you meet the threshold in terms of the requirements for the job, we'll invite you for an interview. And we have quite some levels of interviews. We have competency-based, whereby we could take you through practicals. So it helps us to shortlist further, and then we can do an oral, and we can have level one or level two, depending on the job that we are hiring. Timelines, usually, from the time you advertise to when you want to onboard? Uh, we work with two months. Why? Because they, it's you want to don't want to rush because you might miss out something and meet and pick somebody who does not meet your expectations or does not align to your values. It gives us enough time to be able to also do our background checks on the person and also to have a thorough in, in interview process and also, of course, select. And it's always prudent to give the other person, the, the candidate, time to be also to give their employer notice so they can also have a clean slate and they can have they have a very clean exit I always tell people don't burn your bridges so after that you come we onboard you do thorough induction and we give you what you call a buddy a buddy for one week to help you through the organization and settle in faster because you want you to start being productive asap <laughs> <laughs> fantastic that is absolutely brilliant now back to election preparedness um the week of, what is your advice to members of staff? What is your advice to employees, not just here at the standard group, but, uh, you know, the Kenyan workforce in general? Uh, I would wish to advise them to please be informed. Ensure that you are conscious of what's happening and keep yourself updated in regards to news because that will help you in terms of knowing um, in terms of the security or your own safety. Do not be ignorant 
of anything. And uh, we're very lucky at Standard Group. You have all those platforms. Like, if you really want to get the information ASAP, go to our Standard Digital platform. You'll be able to get real-time information, and you can be able to know, uh, I can go here at this time. Uh, this is uh, safe, like that. Just be informed. I would advise that you sign up to the alerts. Mm -hmm. It's really Fantastic. important. Sign up to the alert so that you're not caught unaware. You may have been in the middle of something. You may have thought, oh, I'll check my updates in two, three hours. But there's something happening immediately. So sign up to the alerts. Go on to standardmedia.co.ke. That's our digital platform. You'll find out how to get more information there. But those alerts could be the difference between you being safe or you finding yourself in a sticky situation. Absolutely. So true, Olivia. That's so true. When you go on to other points with regards to um, staying home, uh, making sure you're home early, not being out late, um, there's still a couple of events happening uh, in the city in, at this time. Uh, what would be your advice to uh, the public? Uh, one of the things I'd like to advise also is that um, don't just walk into, you can, you can be walking around, then you see a big group or an defined group of people just talking and you don't know what's going on there. Uh, Kenyans, uh, unfortunately, by our tradition, we normally get attracted to go there. Yes. But actually, you could be taking yourself to danger. Mm -hmm. So please avoid those undefined uh, crowds of people or, uh, or uh, undefined people because you don't know what's going on there. Going to check also could expose you as opposed to you walking away just to be secure and safe. So just don't walk into mobs of people and just try to find out what's going on. Keep your safety. Just have your lats high up. That can help in terms of keeping your safety too. Spice. I'm Olivia Otieno hosting this safe space for women. In a few minutes, we delve into the pages of the Saturday Standard. There are several magazines inside that you should hold on to because they have info with a long shelf life. Info that you can always refer to in the future. But first, I need to wrap things up with the HR manager here at the Standard Group. Yes. Kiwa nataka kazi. Kiwa natafuta. Yeah, and you're anna decide. You need to know her. <laughs> know her name. <laughs> Joy Kaguri, we've had so much, but I can't believe the hour is almost over. I can't believe that too either. <laughs> Final recap yeah. on keeping Standard Group employees safe, on keeping the workforce in Kenya in general safe. Um, I'd like to put my closing remarks as just ensure that you're aware, first point, two, be prepared, and three, react, don't be caught unawares. So the first thing, being aware, you need to go yes. to standardmedia.co.ke, sign up for alerts, yes. you know, keep that digital platform as a bookmark so you're yes. always referring to it because the news will come out there first and it'll be factual. So true. Secondly, about being prepared. How can you be prepared at work and how can you be prepared at home and everywhere in between? What would you say? You're prepared when first you have the information mm -hmm. and two, you know what to do with it. Uh, let me give an example. Like for us, we have given avenues in which you can be able to report incidences. Yes. And so you're, so you're prepared in terms of uh, the information, safety, this place is safe. Don't go to crowds. Don't walk around with a lot of cash. Have the numbers of emergency for medical. So you're prepared. So that in case this happens, I have like run into an accident. I know I can call. You're prepared. I have the numbers. I can call. I can reach either through the champion, either through the medical contacts that we have given them, either through our OSH team, that's yes. the occupation and safety, through uh, our security, through my manager or HOD. So you're prepared in terms of having um, uh, information and avenues in which you can be able to reach out should something happen. And then you react. What do you do? Do I call? Do I rush to hospital? Do I come to the office? Do I make decisions based that I can stay at home because it's not safe? You know, I can take leave because it's uh, I, I, I wish to be at home because it's safer because of the traveling between maybe home to the office. I'm not too sure. So you react to make a decision when you're really prepared because you have you have been informed. Would you advise that staff take leave during this period? Absolutely. If we, what we call shared services or the and mainstream media. Um, we are highly encouraging. Mommy, we're taking leave. Yeah. Mommy, 
I know we're Saturdays, but to the Chukwa too. Yes. Two Saturdays. Yes, yes. We are encouraging our staff to take some time out and take leave so that we can leave the mainstream, mainstream employees to come to the office to work. And we're encouraging, of course, we work in shifts, especially during that week starting 8th of August. It's important to know about where members of staff reside as well, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. We have encouraged and uh, we have provided forms where you need to indicate where you live. And in addition, at least an employee, at least one employee in the company should know where you live. In case of anything, we are able to reach you within the shortest time possible. Thank you so much, Joy Kaguri, HR Manager, Standard Group, PLC. Have a wonderful, safe, productive weekend. Thank you so much, Olivia Otiena. And it was my pleasure. Thank you for hosting me. And have a lovely and safe weekend. And of course, weeks ahead. Thank you very much.